Hey guys, Mr. Light is here with Power Rangers Super Legends. I really am not going to like this. Because everyone, if you've been following me on this game, you know I'm not very fond of this. Right, so we've done Ninja Storm. Oh, look at this. One Mighty Morphin. The very beginning of the franchise. So, oh great. So let's do part one. She should do it herself. Forget Rita, you fool. I have new orders for you. Go and dump this in the Angel Grove water reservoir. Aye, my liege. But what is it? It will zombify everyone in Angel Grove and prepare them for transformation to sea bodies. Oh, my lord, how I've missed you. Ugh, just get it done. <laughs> Lord Zed getting a bit embarrassed. I just heard that Goldar has been sighted not far from here. Let's go. Okay, so we get this far into the game. Now we get a female ranger. That took a while. So yeah, we got the red ranger and the pink ranger. So let's get busy. And of course, it's the red ranger. I'm not at all surprised anymore, to be honest. Right. Ah, the putties. Just get rid of you. And like I always remember, because why not? Just knock him down. Get rid of you. Is that all this? Yep. No, I don't think we can... Hang on. Can I... No, I can't get up there. Never mind. Hello there. You need to go down the drain. There we go. Just go down here. Oh, that was close. Ah, take that. Okay, grab these. Ow. Oh, this is getting me awkward. Well, I got rid of one of them. I swear, what is with the amount of health these guys have? And it's not just the fact they got a lot of health. It's the fact it takes forever for them to flip and get back up. There. Anyway, let's move on, shall we? Hello, putties. Right, that's in care of them. Okay, come over here. I don't want to go near the lasers. Checkmate. Uh, let's see. Can I break this? Huh. Guess you need to find a flipping switch. Wait, hang on. Can I go that way? Nope, I cannot. Alright, whatever. Uh, let's go. Can nothing over there? Grab these. Slam dunk. I'll be taking this now. And he should now go down. Hello there, folks. Fall into hell. Yes, a Good old repetitiveness. Go down here now. How you flipping? You're gonna pay for that. Get back up, I want. Please stop defending for heaven's sake. I take care of that guy. That's him taking care of. Now I just gotta deal with this pest. One more. And there he goes. Now let's go down here. Oh, what's happening? Oh. Goodness. Are you a ranger? I know this seems strange, but you must believe me. Goldar is planning on poisoning the Angel Grove water supply. If he pours that poison barrel into the reservoir, Lord Zed will add millions to his putty army. 
Flip's right, sake. Alright, we'll check it out. But when we get back, you'll have some serious explaining to do. Yeah, that should be painfully obvious. Just somebody coming up to you and saying Lord Zed is up to something. Uh, then again, doesn't Lord Zed have a new plan every day? And then again, if you think about it, you can say that about practically every villain ever made. It's very rare. Okay. I, I was about to say it's very rare a villain uses the same plan twice. Then I think to myself, well, that is the case, except every Power Ranger villain seems to have a plan of making their monsters grow giant size. Even though that never seems to work. Dude, how many of these blooming guys are there? Okay, that's it's going. Oh, flip my health. Oh, you little crap. Yeah, that's my word. Right, take care of you now. Slam dunk. And repetitive nature. There we go. Oh, what? The fifth? There's more of them? Can't they just die, please? Okay, I got rid of him. But seriously, this is getting a little old. Right, that takes care of him. Okay, got rid of the bunch of them at last. Can we go this way? Huh, okay. That's awesome. We got a couple of things there. A couple of new power ups. Bit of a lag there. Interesting. Right, grab the health and enter the door. To the next destination on the list, and I'm gonna hate this. Ah, here we are. I was wondering then what that was about. There seems to be quite a bit of lag in this level. Hmm. Interesting. Ow, oh, you living die! My right, sister him. Okay, seriously, enough of this. You can stop defending because you're not going to survive. I take you out. Up we go. Grab these. There's nothing down here, so we go upwards. Oh, I get it. Okay, ooh, the wise guy that shot that pull up. You just shot me, didn't you, mister? Sorry, you got what you deserved. Now, let's go this way. Oh, there's another one up there, apparently. Okay, I'm just going to shoot with my gun. Yep, the more you use the gun in a row, the less, um, the more time it takes to attack with it. But it doesn't really bother me. Alright, go this way now. Maybe we should go up. Maybe, if I want to. But knowing my luck, there's only one road I can take. Wait, you said go up, so why am I going down exactly? There we go, that's it to him. Come on, you losers! Oh. That seemed a bit pointless. 
Let's go over here and just take you out. Anything down here? Yes, it's another health power up. I'm already at full health. There we go. And I saw some of you that I can't reach. Unless, of course, there's another way up. Let me have a look here. Ah, oh, there is. Hello. Oh. Wait, what? This is only A? Are you kidding me? How long is this level? Folks, this is going to be a long one. Hope you guys are patient. Because I'm certainly getting awkward about this. This is going to be a flipping long level. Come on, I can beat them. There we go, that's them taken care of. Into here. Now we go up. He goes down there, and to be honest, I think I'm going to just... Uh, whatever, let's pile drive him. You know, like you do. Well, that was easy. Right, let's go over here, grab that. Let's just pile drive you. Off the edge. I'm not even bothered to be honest. Oh, uh, great. It's this. This actually gets on my flipping nerves. I can never seem to remember how you do an upward slam. Sorry, uppercut. Okay, seriously, die. Is that seriously what I have to do? I could have sworn there was a... Oh, my mistake. I forgot that. Yeah, you have to shoot upwards. Literally, that's how you do this. You have to shoot upwards. I didn't know that because when I first played this game... I spent ages and ages thinking I had to do an uppercut and I couldn't figure out how to do one. So I figured out, stupidly, that you don't do an uppercut, you just shoot it with your flipping gun. Right, let's just... Come on, get up there. Oh, I can't. Oh, uh, whatever. Ow, I got hit by it. That was stupid of me. See, that's all I gotta do is shoot upwards. Alright, let's fall. Flip, there's another one. You can all completely die. Okay, anyone get that reference? Nope, just nope to everyone. It's not how it was said and what it was. If you can't figure it out, don't worry, I'll tell you. It's, and they all deserve to die. Which is a, a part of the song, um, Epiphany, which was one of the songs in, um, Sweeney Todd. The only thing about that movie or musical, if you want to call it, that I like because I think if I watch it, yes, I haven't seen it, it'll probably flipping scare me. Because, believe it or not, I am easily scared. Okay, seriously, get up there. That's better. Howdy, folks. Uh, I think we finally got to the top. You can both go down there. I'm going to completely ignore you. Excellent. Okay, really? It just... Oh, I see. Yeah, I got to use the gun again. Did I ever actually find that in the past? I'm not sure I did.
Wait, what? Oh! Don't go through the floor then! Ow, 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 yeah, I'm good at that. Yeah, you got through that. Oh, flip, this is fast. Made it through. Uh-oh. I got a bad feeling about this. Oh, dear. Yep, I knew it. It's going to come down. Oh, my. You got to be joking. You expect me to fight these guys while worrying about if I'm going to get shot? Sorry, not exactly shot, but stomped to death by these things. Right, you got rid of the two gunners. Oh, no, we didn't. He's still alive. They all dead? Oh, my, you gotta be kidding me. That's a sneaky part of the level, ain't it? Basically, when the platform goes down, you got to go to it to avoid getting hit. Well, that's flipping annoying. Well, at least it lets give you the chance to get away from all these flipping stompers. Get down, get down. There we go. We avoid him. Uh, oh, wow. Are you kidding me? This is flipping stupid. Wow. So basically, oh, I got to do this now. You put that there to prevent me. I'm flipping going that way now. No! Okay, really. I'm now on red health. This is not funny. This is in fact painful. There we go, that's in dead. Okay, can we move on now? Oh, uh, finally! Okay, let's go. Come on, let's get out of here. That was not very nice. Into the door, like we do. Okay, what next? You can grab this. Down here. Hard oh, right news the next week. Enemy goal reached, but that was flipping in the way of me seeing the enemy. You flipping. Can we go? Nice nah, going, dude. Uh, what did I do exactly? Oh, we go this way now. So, yeah, platform riding. This game gets even more irritating the more I play it. Because I bet you anything something's going to happen. Why did I say that? I got right on this now. And those guys over there, what are you doing? Seriously, are you gonna come after me? You're just gonna stay there. There we go, that takes care of them. Or oh, no, it doesn't. And now they're dead. Moving on. Honestly, I'm not even bothered, am I? Just go get through this level and I'll drive anything that comes my way. Just because, honestly, 
in my opinion. I think I've said this before, but I gotta say it now for those who didn't know. The combat is the only decent part of this game's gameplay. As far as I'm concerned, the platforming, in my opinion, is very dull. I'm just not really interested in this game's um, ideas. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not a terrible game. It's not one of the worst games I ever played. Heck, I actually have a short, in fact, a very short list of games I specifically hate. And I swear to you, I've played them and I will never play them again. You know, I've really got to talk about that at some point. I might do it now, actually. Right, I'm going to go over this list just briefly. The first game I hate is L.A. Noir. Yes, I flipping hate L.A. Noir because I found it so flipping uncomfortable to play. I really didn't enjoy playing it. I got pretty much to like the fourth um, part, fourth section, which I believe was drug trafficking. And let's just say from then on, I just got flipping annoyed at it. Mainly because, well, A, I was getting really bored by that point. But B, I was starting to get a bit awkward with how the characters reacted to other people. Like how the characters... Okay, hang on. Okay. I was getting annoyed because I got that far and I thought, you know what? I'm probably not going to play this game for much more. I just want to see what the next part of the game is like. So I ended up watching part of the gameplay footage of the uh, next part of the game, which is the final, a uh, final department. I watched it and I thought, forget it. I am never watching this. I'm never playing this again because I found it so uncomfortable with the way he was being treated. Yes, what he did was not nice. He had to pay the price for what he did. But I really didn't like it. I got so annoyed, so I didn't play it anymore. The second game I hate is Beyond Two Souls for a similar reason. Hang on. Stop right there, Goldar. Ah, Ranger. I was wondering when you'd show up. Tell me, why did the chicken cross the road? Uh, to get to the other side? Wrong! To meet his doom! <laughs> Not a very good joke in my opinion. That was rubbish. Great. Cars on the road, they're gonna bump me. See you later, Goldar. Anyway, the next game which I hate really, really don't like is Beyond Two Souls. The reason being, well, I played it for like, I think it was an hour and I just really hated it. The real reason for that hatred was a certain scene. I mean, you know, because it's at the beginning of the game, literally it's like the second or third level. I'll tell you. The main character goes to a party, she ends up talking to the people there, getting to see what they're like. And in the end, they get so horrible to her, they literally bully her, they grab her and lock her under the stairs. And just laugh about it. The moment I saw that scene, I thought, no, no, I am seriously not playing this game anymore. I seriously was so uncomfortable with that scene. I found it so awkward, I didn't play it anymore. I just seriously got sick and tired of the game. And yeah, so I played it for about an hour and then I flipping gave it up. Now, there is one last game that I seriously hate. I really hate it, but there is a difference. What the heck happened 
to you. There is a big difference with this. And that is the fact this last game is the last one on my list that I hate. And believe it or not, the difference is I have actually platinumed it. Yes, I was so... It's, that's the unbelievable part. I just, I actually platinumed the game, even though I hate it more than it, more than my other games. I mean, literally, after I platinumed it, I sold it. Because I said, I'm not doing this anymore. And that was Stein's Gates. I really hate that game. Really hate it. Forget it, mister. You're not zombifying anyone on our watch. I won't fail, Lord Zeg. Step aside. I got you. Right, let me explain while I beat up Goldar like he's an idiot. Basically, Steins Gate is a visual novel, um, and I found the main character to be so utterly irritating like one of the most annoying characters i've ever met in a video game literally i hated him i literally could not stand the guy and for a while i was just going along with it i thought this is kind of a silly thing you know time sending text messages to the past with a microwave no seriously but halfway through the game, this thing happens, and suddenly, the game gets very sinister and very blooming dark. To the point where, there is so much, like, uncomfortable scenes in the later half, that I couldn't bring myself to play it for a while. Now, the difference is... I was really uncomfortable playing it, but I kept going, and I got through the game, and the reason I got through it was because actually the story interested me. I mean, it was something really bizarre. I mean, sending text messages to the past with a time with a microwave, that is beyond weird. So I watched it, I played it, I platinumed it. And then I told myself, my work is done with this game. Because that game was so flipping uncomfortable halfway through. In fact, it got to the point where I literally had to stop playing for about a couple of weeks. Because I really didn't like where this story was taking me. But... I'm going to be honest with you, there is one good thing about this game that I don't know about Beyond Two Souls, but it is the fact with L.A. Noir. L.A. Noir had a very sad ending. I did not like the ending of L.A. Noir. I never finished it, but I saw it on YouTube and I hated it. I seriously hated the ending. But the thing I like about Stein's Gate, which is kind of silly saying all this, but yeah, there is something I like about it, and that's the ending. The ending was in fact satisfying. I did like the ending of Stein's Gate. I hate it though. Oh, why? You can't use your guns on it. But if there's one thing I hate... I hate the ending of, of L.A. Noir. Really hate it. And... I like the ending of Stein's Gate. So I think the conclusion was well worth it in the end. Not for the other games, though. Anyway, here's the game. So much for Zombie Grove. Now where's that Omega range? Please, join me in the Hall of Legends and I'll explain everything. This better be good. <sighs> okay, so we got through this level with me 
towards the end, literally going on and on about my least favourite games. That's something I haven't done before, but I figured might as well talk about something interesting, considering this is such a boring game. So folks, I'll see you guys next time for Power Rangers Super Legends. And I'm sorry if you thought I was getting awkward with all that, but I was getting so fed up I just wanted to talk about something to pass the time. So, see you guys next time.